uh, I will present you today our work on application of the discrete element method to predict the effective properties of continuous materials. This work is performed at the uh, Laboratory of Innovative Technology of the uh, University of Picardy. Uh, after the context and uh, the objective, I will present uh, the effective properties of uh, uh, homogeneous continuous uh, material by using a discrete modeling. Uh, after that, uh, its application uh, to uh, HCM with a single inclusion. Uh, after that, an application to the case of uh, composite material. And uh, I finish my talk by conclusion and outlook. Uh, this work uh, is based in the context of uh, Pristiflex uh, project supported by uh, the European Union uh, with the objective to uh, elaborate a piezoelectric uh, flexible sensor for non-destructive test of deposit coating uh, by using uh, a surface acoustic wave uh, placed on uh, warped surfaces. Uh, the, the objective uh, is uh, to, uh, uh, to re evaluate the thickness of the coating. Uh, this coating is uh, obtained by uh, uh, soil gel process in order to uh, uh, improve its uh, time of life. Now, this uh, soil gel uh, uh, can be uh, 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 alumina. Due to uh, its good uh, piezoelectricity, uh, piezoelectricity uh, the, the material uh, chosen is a ceramic foam uh, based on uh, barium titanate. Uh, but uh, due to its uh, uh, very low uh, uh, elastic um, flexibility, uh, we uh, infiltrated the perform, the macroscopic uh, uh, perform, the macropose perform by uh, an epoxy uh, resin to increase his, uh, its uh, uh, flexibility. And the objective is uh, to model this uh, material by a discrete uh, element, the matrix phase, and uh, the, uh, the epoxy uh, phase, or resin phase. The flow chart of the main steps for the discrete element uh, modeling is uh, the following. The first step consists uh, to uh, adjusting microscopic properties to macroscopic behavior uh, by considering uh, the discrete element as a cohesive domain uh, for the ceramic phase and the resin phase. At the second step, uh, we consider uh, the, the example of a single inclusion for uh, uh, mass, uh, purpose, uh, mass conservation purpose. Uh, the third step consists to, to uh, perform this uh, uh, method to the composite uh, uh, material and uh, at the, the, the last uh, step uh, uh, to study the distribution of, uh, uh, of uh, stress field and the localization effects. The modeling of uh, uh, homogeneous continuous uh, material behavior with discrete element uh, method is considered in the case of uh, plane stress state. Uh, we consider the granular packing composed of cohesive cylindrical particles generated with a controlled manner. It means uh, we expect the random close packing, about uh, 86%, and coordination number. We consider also, or to, uh, we assume. Uh, uh, that uh, the homogeneity of geometrical arrangement at different zones of the domain is the same. And uh, we uh, suppose also uh, the domain isotropic uh, by uh, verifying uh, the distribution of the contact angle. So, uh, there is no uh, prefer um, uh, preferential direction uh, of contact. We have the same distribution uh, in, the, in the plane. Uh, and uh, we consider at each uh, pair of contact an hybrid particulate lattice model, model uh, to assure the link between the particle and uh, the, 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 we suppose the particle glued together with a beam model. We have here uh, the, 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 the shape uh, of the particle in contact and the beam 
assuring the link between uh, the two particles. So the interaction at the contact model uh, modeled by BIM, uh, we consider the uh, fourth uh, parameter, the length of the beam, its uh, uh, Young's modulus, its cross section, and its inertial uh, uh, momentum. Uh, the cross section is related to uh, the radius of uh, particles and to the uh, adimensional uh, coefficient R mu uh, ranging from 0.01, for example, and to 1. Uh, we accept uh, the, the, the zero value. Uh, the internal cohesive forces between particles uh, is uh, uh, obtained by the classical uh, stiffness matrix uh, of, uh, uh, of, of a beam. Uh, uh, the, the, the internal forces is related to uh, the relative displacement, normal, tangential, and rotation uh, in order to uh, counteract the normal displacement, impression, or interaction, uh, tangential, and rotation. The equation of motion for a given particle E is uh, given by this system, the classical system of uh, dynamical uh, equation in translation, in translation and in rotation. Now, here we have the external force and here we have the internal force, essentially uh, the uh, cohesion forces. The same for the rotation uh, motion. Uh, this uh, uh, equation uh, are uh, solved by an explicit, an explicit time integration based on a uh, very scheme. Uh, we are going now to, to see the identification of the effective elastic parameters of uh, the homogeneous uh, continuous uh, material. Uh, we consider a quasi-static quasi uh, tensile test to identify the effective elastic, elastic, uh, effective elastic uh, parameters, Jung's modulus and uh, Poisson's ratio by considering the classical uh, equation of elasticity. We assume that the material is the uh, titanate, uh, the barium titanate and its uh, properties uh, are the following and we suppose the macroscopic modulus, Young's modulus is the same that the microscopic one. Here we have the uh, variation in time of uh, both uh, uh, parameters. Uh, the the Young's modulus and the uh, portion uh, ratio. Uh, when uh, we reach the, the steady uh, state, we observe that the Young's modulus is different, macroscopic is different than the microscopic uh, modulus. That means we must uh, define a calibration step to uh, determine the microscopic, the macroscopic uh, modulus, Young's modulus and uh, passion ratio for a given microscopic parameters. The parameters are the Young's modulus and the ratio Hermi. We have plotted different uh, value uh, of uh, uh, different curves corresponding to different value of microscopic uh, Young's modulus uh, and its uh, variation uh, with respect to the, the ratio R mu. Uh, as we can see, we have a dependence uh, uh, on uh, the, the microscopic uh, Young's modulus. Uh, however, in the case of uh, a portion ratio, uh, whatever the value of uh, Young's modulus, we have uh, the same uh, uh, portion issue. We have a dependence uh, of uh, Young modulus only. Uh, we will now uh, see the validation of uh, the cohesive uh, uh, model. Uh, we have uh, compared uh, the simulation uh, performed with the finite element method and discrete element uh, method uh, for two cases, tensile and bending test in quasi-static uh, condition. 
they are considered uh, the uh, macroscopic parameters for the uh, barium titanate and the corresponding uh, microscopic parameters uh, put it at uh, the, 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 the contact uh, scale uh, at the scale of uh, the, um, the, the beam model here we have the, uh, the, the variation of uh, the reaction uh, at the clumped edge with respect uh, to time and uh, we, we have a similar behavior for both uh, method, finite element and discrete uh, element. Uh, here we have the displacement at the free edge uh, for the two uh, simulation, and we obtain the same results uh, in, the, in the mending test uh, for the clumped edge and the free, uh, free edge. Uh, we assume that the discrete element method uh, is able to uh, reproduce similar uh, res results that the finite element method uh, in condition uh, to, uh, to, uh, to evaluate or to identify uh, properly uh, the uh, macroscopic uh, parameters, Young's modulus, uh, modulus and uh, coefficient of, of uh, prep, um, excuse me, uh, quotient ratio. Uh, now, I will present uh, uh, the case of uh, uh, homogeneous uh, uh, matter with uh, a single inclusion. We consider uh, the, the, again uh, the barium titanate uh, with, uh, with uh, an epoxy uh, resin. The part uh, colored in blue is the resin. And uh, we, uh, are plotted, uh, we have plotted here uh, the um, variation of uh, the, the mass fraction and the, the volume fraction with respect to the number of particles uh, to determine the minimum of particles uh, to ensure mass uh, conservation. As you can see here, uh, about uh, 2,000, we can uh, uh, assume that uh, you have uh, uh, conservation, uh, mass conservation. Concerning uh, the behavior, the elastic uh, behavior, we have considered at the interface between the matrix and the inclusion that the uh, microscopic Young's modulus obtained by geometric average of uh, matrix Young's modulus and Young's modulus of the inclusion. And we have performed two uh, mechanical tests, tensile and chair uh, tests, by considering a, a symmetrical uh, condition here and uh, anti-symmetrical uh, condition for the uh, chair uh, test. We observe here in this, uh, on this uh, figure uh, the, uh, the distribution of uh, uh, the equivalent von uh, stress for the discrete approach and the finite element uh, approach. Uh, after this, uh, I just uh, recall that uh, the stress tensor is uh, uh, computed by using uh, the uh, well-known uh, Love-Weber formula. Uh, and we have uh, uh, plotted here, uh, we have represented the distribution of the stress uh, field uh, by averaging in space and in time. Uh, to, to, uh, to obtain this result, we have uh, at uh, first uh, uh, considered the same structure. We, uh, we build the, the mesh uh, by finite element software and we determine for each triangle of this mesh, mesh the particle containing into the, uh, the, the triangle uh, to, uh, to have a more uh, accurately uh, representation of the stress field. Uh, as we can see, we have the similar uh, representation of the stress field. We have uh, concentration at the same uh, zone. However, we have a gap between uh, the, the two uh, simulations. Uh, this is due uh, essentially to the discretization effects. Ah. Uh, we have also uh, 
studied the, the effect of the contrast between the inclusion and the matrix uh, for the case of the constant of, uh, excuse me, the contrast here uh, lower than one, and in the case where the CR is upper than one, uh, it means uh, in the first case uh, the, the inclusion is uh, stiff uh, with respect uh, in comparison to the matrix, and uh, in the second case uh, the inclusion is uh, is less stiff. Excuse me, in the first case, and the inclusion is stiffer uh, with respect uh, by, um, in comparison to the, the matrix in the second case. Uh, we have performed a several uh, numerical uh, calculation with uh, different uh, approaches to compare the DAM uh, simulation to the fast Fourier transform uh, finite element uh, simulation and the double scale finite uh, double scale homogenization finite element method and uh, analytical uh, model for the case of uh, CR. Uh, lower than one, and in the case where one, when the CR is upper than one. And we can uh, observe that uh, if you consider uh, the finite element as a reference, we have uh, uh, a value very close to the uh, discrete element uh, uh, simulation, uh, whatever uh, the uh, value of, uh, of CR. And is uh, bounded by uh, the analytical uh, model. We have uh, performed the same calculation uh, for the share modulus for CR uh, greater than one and uh, lower than one, and we have uh, the same uh, uh, the same value uh, in comparison to the uh, numerical, uh, the other numerical approach and uh, also is bounded by the analytical uh, model given by uh, Moritaka model. Now I will present you the, uh, the application of or the, the performing of this, of this modeling in the case of uh, a composite uh, material. Uh, the matrix is uh, considered as a, a barium titanate with uh, this uh, uh, properties, elastic properties, uh, the, uh, and the, the part colored here uh, in blue correspond to the uh, inclusion uh, part, uh, for example, an epoxy resin. Uh, we have uh, uh, considered uh, a number of uh, 40, uh, 40 inclusion and we discretized, we discretized the, uh, the model, the, the domain, uh, by uh, uh, 65,000 particles. At first, uh, we have uh, studied the statistical uh, uh, statistical study for evaluating, uh, evaluating uh, the representative elementary uh, volume uh, that is the minimum of inclusion uh, to be considered that our uh, volume is representative uh, we have uh, varied the number of particles and we uh, obtain uh, a convergence uh, with uh, 14 particles and uh, greater uh, we assume that uh, our uh, model that I have shown before is a representative uh, volume. As for the case of uh, single inclusion, we have uh, studied the, the influence of the contrast of the effective uh, properties and we have compared uh, the results obtained with the uh, discrete element method uh, with the fin uh, finite element method, uh, fast Fourier transform and homogenization and Moritanaka and uh, Ashit. One minute. I, I have uh, finished. Uh, uh, we, we obtain um, a result very close uh, with the discrete element method to the other uh, numerical method in the case of uh, Young's modulus, modulus with a CR uh, greater to one and uh, lower than one and greater to one. 
the, the same uh, results uh, in the case of uh, shear uh, modulus. Uh, the description uh, by discrete element method leads to uh, results very close to the other uh, medical method. And we have uh, compare the uh, discrete element, uh, the, the results obtained with uh, the discrete element method in the case of uh, uh, barium titanate uh, epofix uh, composite. The experimental uh, results uh, have uh, uh, obtained by uh, our colleague from uh, University of uh, Mons at uh, Belgium uh, in the case of bending test and uh, the, the Young's modulus is very close to the Young modulus obtained with discrete element method, but we uh, must to temper this, uh, this result because uh, in our simulation we don't uh, take into account the bending effects. And here we have the uh, distribution of uh, the stress uh, field in terms of uh, von Mises stress uh, field uh, for uh, discrete element method and the finite element method. As we can see, we obtain uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the tensile test and in the case of shared test uh, similar results. And we can uh, see here the uh, concentration effect uh, at the same zone for the uh, two uh, approaches. To conclude, uh, we have uh, performed the novel uh, discrete element uh, method based approach for evaluating the elastic behavior. Uh, we must uh, to, uh, perform calibration process to correlate the microscopic properties by using a beam model to the uh, macroscopic uh, properties. Uh, the validity of the discrete element uh, based approach uh, with uh, the case in uh, uh, with. Uh, uh, a single inclusion, and in the case of, of random heterogeneous material with uh, 40 inclusion, and uh, a good comparison uh, with experimental uh, measure uh, obtained for the composite uh, materials constituted by uh, titanate, uh, barium titanate uh, epofix. And uh, some uh, prospects. First of all, uh, the effort must be uh, done uh, on the discretization of the composite, which improves the, the prediction of the stress field within the composite in terms of uh, localization effects and crack initiation. And uh, we uh, are currently uh, performing the same uh, method by using discrete element uh, method to uh, simulating thermal uh, phenomena. Uh, in order to uh, determine uh, the effective thermal conductivities and the detection of the hot spot within the composite. Thank you for your, for your attention.